Good morning and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas Eve. There's the birds feeding the birds some bread. Got some squirrels eating their nuts. Christmas in Christmas in Brooklyn. Marcus Conti reporting. Ooh, we're gonna make some make some revelations today. Big revelations in the world of LARPing. Chasing around those LARPers still, right? Who am I? Am I a Am I a dick joke guy? Am I a... Uh, I, I'm contemplating my life right now in the park. Early in the morning. I, I need your help. Am I a... Am I just a dick joke guy? Am I a... Uh, a news guy? The mild-mannered reporter? Or... 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 Am I one of the most brilliant... Criminal investigators you have ever seen? Hmm. Now, I'd like to think I'm the... The latter of the two, but I'll leave that up to you. <laughs> so, it's Christmas time in the city. Do a little walk and talk today. Get out in the air. I'm going to make a couple of big revelations. One, um, we'll talk about the big picture because I think I think the big picture has a lot to do with the little picture. I think the 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 LARP world. The world of LARPers now, and I take it I don't I take it lightly because that's part of the investigation, but it's actually a very serious subject because a lot of these guys are involved in criminal, criminal activity. Uh, make no mistake about it. Uh, but the way to 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 oh let's play games you know let's uh, let's. Let's play, let's play patty cake for a while. Oh, Conti, he's so funny. Look at his fake teeth, his fake hair. He's so funny. Let's play with Conti. He's a, he's a dummy. <laughs> let's play with him. He's funny. He's stupid. Uh, so, I'm going to make the revelation. Uh, I, I see that this... Um, this Dobby Dave character's really got you guys going, boy. Wow. Who the fuck is this guy? I know who he is. I know who he is. I know who Dopey Dave is. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm going to let you wait. I'm going to let you wait till the end, and I'm going to tell you who Dopey Dave is. Right. But here's the deal, right? It is Christmas. It's 2019. And here we are. We're entering into the new election season, 2020, officially in a few days, right? And what do we got going on? We got Russiagate. Oh, right? our world is upside down, right? Our whole fucking psychology is upside down. We have Russiagate. We have Democrats that just impeached a sitting president for nothing, for absolutely nothing, for... A phone call. Impeach the president, right? Ukraine gate. Ah, Joe Biden. Right? It's fucking crazy. It doesn't make it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't make any sense. And all it does is it doesn't give people, you know, universal single payer health care or, or a better life or more jobs or, or better pay or safety at home, safety ab abroad. It doesn't give us any of that. It gives us nothing. Pfizer gate. Oh, they're gonna get Trump. Oh, they're getting him. They're gonna lock him up. They're gonna Trump. The Trump guys are gonna lock up the other guys. Huh? That's what they're doing. Uh, fake elections. Fake elections. Fake elections. We're going into a fake election season. How much of it is rigged? I would say 100% of the Democratic elections are rigged. And probably quite a bit of the Republican side of it is rigged. And that's all confirmed. That's not just the crazy reporter that walks around with a joystick saying it. That's pretty much the consensus amongst people with an IQ over 70. <laughs> so, and the online, the online rabbit holes. People are down rabbit holes. <coughs> There's so many you can't even count. But what it leads to is craziness, neuroses, uh, right? It uh, makes people psychosocial, 
psychopaths, sociopaths, right? Which leads to possibly suicide, murder. All these things are going on, right? Online. As a microcosm of the bigger picture, which is the macro issue of corruption, political corruption, rigged elections, elections that don't count. They're all Satanists. They're all pedophiles. Every one of them. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so, so, um, so I want to talk about a few dirty old men online. Dirty old men who lodge frivolous lawsuits at people. <laughs> frivolous, incoherent, incomprehensible, illogical crackpot theories about other people. <laughs> Crazy, right? Why? I don't know. You're hiding something. You hi you're hiding something. You're trying to hide something. You're trying to position yourself as some sort of operative and maybe somebody will pay you and you're ready to throw anybody on any motherfucker that comes along under the bus. And you do it all the time. Always, always, always playing the victim. I'm the victim. Oh, no, no. See, I'm the victim. I'm going to tell you who Dopey Dave is. Just stand by. The ultimate victim. Ooh, I got you, man. Oh, I got you guys, man. I got you. I got you. Fucking crusty old Schoenberger. Ooh, the most disgusting human being alive. Creeping around in the background on the internet. Fucking, hey, motherfucker, I'm gonna kill and get you, motherfucker. You stalk my kid, you fuck. You, you punch the girl in the stomach, you motherfucker. I hate you, Conti. I hate you. <laughs> uh, Schoenberger, he's the biggest jerk, right? No, I think, I think, um, Dobie Dave Schwagger is probably the, the largest jerk in the whole thing. Conti, I'm going to sue you. You're going to get dragged into court, and everything you've ever said about me, you'll have to explain in a court of law. Everything you've ever said about me, Conti, you, Marcus, Marcus Clueless, you will have to say everything you've ever said about me in a court of law. <laughs> oh, fuck, these guys are crazy, man. These guys are nuts, man. These guys are fucking crazy, right? So, so these jerk offs, right? All of them jerk offs. Hundreds of videos. Literally hundreds of videos. Not about just this reporter. Derogatory, harassment, right? Aggravated harassment. When you do it twice, it's aggravated harassment. A criminal charge. <laughs> criminal. You guys are criminals. When you lie in court. When you, when you put together documents and you file one of your frivolous lawsuits and you lie and someone, I don't know, somebody somewhere comes along and dumps all of the evidence that contradicts your lie, you are a what? Criminal. Ah, <laughs> uh, gotcha. So these criminals have thus far accused me of being, this is all me. I'm, I'm the guy researching it. And why did I research it? Because I believe that the internet should be a safe place and should be rid of creeps that poke around in the background trying to disrupt other people's lives by extorting them, going into their private lives and trying to turn their private lives upside down, give them an ulcer, keep them up at night thinking. <laughs> Hey, right, wackos, right? It's fucking psychopaths. That's what psychopaths do. Now, my I, I do a bit of it, but I target the people that are doing it. That's all. And that in this case it's you know, it's there's a few. There's there's the Schoenberger guy, the, the nasty fucking criminal running away from prosecution in California. There's Dave Acton, the fake the fake law enforcement idiot that lives in his mother's van or RV or whatever and talks on his ham radio. <laughs> George Webb's crazy brother, the retarded brother, jealous brother, right? failed actor. 
the dreamer, the guy who, who, the guy who we had to report to the FBI for, went so over the top that he he plotted a an explosion in in Corpus Christi where he had to be reported to the FBI, and then turns around and say, "Oh, you're a criminal, you motherfucker! You're a criminal! You reported me for crime. That's criminal." <laughs> I would like to be a bug on a wall when a, when a judge <laughs> is writing writing judgments in this case, because it is it is ridiculous. It is so preposterous to think that any of these idiots will be taken seriously in a court of law. Well, it's already been determined that they're frivolous, illogical, and comprehensible litigants. But they continue. Right? It's so easy to beat. All right, so. So these idiots have accused this reporter of being a pedophile, a stalker, a white supremacist, a dangerous criminal, a gang leader, a hoax bomber, a racketeer, an extortionist, a malicious prosecutor, a slanderer, a harasser, an FBI informant, a CIA cutout, a deep state, deep state stooge. <laughs> Man, it's so funny, man. You guys are, you just guys are like a fucking, it never stops, man, the humor. It's so humorous, but here's the problem, right? And here's why I have to continue, because it's a whisper campaign. It's a smear campaign. A bunch of idiots that get together and, and smear people online like me. It's a whisper. They only got, maybe it's like, it's between 20 and 50 idiots. They coalesce on, on little little chat boards, we got, we got you all documented. Every, every last one of you, every, every comment, it's all documented. When the, when the ship goes down, everybody goes down with the ship, everybody. Uh, so we got you, man. Daniel Cromer, a fucking, fucking librarian, comes on my show, acts like an idiot, so I dox him. Hey, that's what you get, now we know who you are, right? You wanna harbor criminals, you wanna, you wanna create you want to create a site where a bunch of criminals come and plot, plot slander and harassment on, on innocent people? Well, you go down with the ship, too. Right? It'll be being added soon. Well, brace yourself. We know where you are. Coming for you. Coming for you. It's not a joke. I'm not just a dick joke guy, right? So of all the things that they've accused me of, all right, those are all. Those are just some of them. The ones that are so um, most memorable. But the reality is, I really am just a mild-mannered reporter. All right? I'm a song and dance guy. All right? That's what I am. I'm just a song and dance guy. I'm no. I'm nothing special. All right? I do my job. I I blew the whistle on a New York City municipality that extorted $300 million over 30 years, or $600 million, I forget the number. It goes up and down. But a lot of money in ticket quotas in New York City. I can walk up to any ticket cop in New York City or any sanitation enforcement agent and say, you know who I am? And they go, no. So you ever hear the, the guy that blew the whistle on the ticket quotas? He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, that guy, yeah. I said, that's me. <laughs> that, I saved the city so much money. Now I took the hit for that because I wasn't able to prove that the, I wasn't able to prove that the city did anything wrong to me and all that stuff in, the, in their own courts. And I took the bull. You know, I went down with the ship on that one, but that's okay. The quota, the quota lives on. The quota, the lack of the quota lives on. And that's what I do. I'm a, I'm, I'm a whistleblower. That's what I do. Well, that's what I did, and that's what led me to do this. Right? Which is, I don't know what it is I do. I, all I know is that, that if you stay in the truth, if you ground yourself in the truth, the, the corruption appears in front of you. Right? Stay in the truth, and poof! The corruption appears. Right? So, so I, so I want to get. I just want to address something very quickly and move on. That the the biggest uh, whisper campaign is that Marcus Conti is a criminal. He's a criminal, a criminal. 
Right? They keep saying that, right? What am I? What, what crime? You mean smoking pot when I was 19, uh, 18 years old? Having a fist fight when I was 19? Getting involved in drinking and drugging, jump, jumping the turnstile, punching people in the face, high on drugs in the 1990s? Guilty as charged. <laughs> right? All, all 200 of my first videos were about about the past and um, today I stand before you 25 years later from the last drink and drug and man have I I've you know I've been worked in law enforcement I've had security clearances I've had you know I've been a, a uh, mandatory reporter several times for the city of New York I've I'm a, 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 a published author a, a stockbroker I've held stockbroker licenses all of these things after abysmal past so do i do i regret the past and wish to shut the door on it no i think it it's something that it's it's somewhat of a strength to me to have experienced those things at that tender age and have since helped literally thousands of people that find themselves in that position of drinking and drugging and I won't get too far into that. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. And, you know, and so do I have any regrets or no, not, 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 not one, not a single one. Excuse me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what's this? Oh, uh, no, we have to have a, we have to have a funeral for a friend who didn't make it. Oh boy, a little squirrel, a little squirrel. So, let's have a moment of silence for one of my friends here in the park who died. Died on Christmas Day. Maybe he got a bad nut. I think I know this squirrel, I know all of them. They know me. Ah, it's a sad day. All lives matter. You know, a little squirrel that just ate a bad nut. He got a bad nut and he didn't make it. All right? So, so you can do what you want with it, right? I've called you all those things and you have called me all, a lot of things. But remember, you started it first to the LARPers. I was the mild mannered investigator. I spoke with back in the day of Jason Goodman and George Webb. I was on their show, they were on my show, you know, that kind of thing. The Fango, I was on his show, The Fango. There's no, no higher conspiracy, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous, it's YouTube, I'm, I'm a celebrity. And they're on my show. And because I'm a celebrity, they want me on their show, and so, so be it. Right? That's all that is. Right? So, so, I forgot what I was saying. The squirrel took away my breath, man. Oh, I, I hate to see that, really. I love the squirrels. I feed them sometimes. I think my record is I've had like uh, maybe 12 of them at once, all eating nuts at the same time. I keep them in my pocket. I keep them. I don't have any now because I, I don't want to. I don't want to stop and do that. But we're gonna find out who Dopey Dave is right now. You ready? Who's Dopey Dave? Go watch the videos. They're brilliant. Or are they? I shouldn't call them brilliant because when I tell you who it is, you're not going to like it. Or maybe you already know. Right? So, so again, we have to talk about Dave Swaggart one last time, hopefully. The gift that keeps giving. The man who threatens so much litigation that leaves a trail of literally hundreds of defamation videos and then claims to be a victim, goes in front of courts and tries to fraudulently impose his stupid will on others in courts of law. What a twisted fuck. What a twisted fuck. He's more twisted than the scumbag Schoenberger, who is just a, just a lowlife kind of pot-smoking creep, you know? But... But Acton is worse in that he's he he constantly he constantly swings it to the um, you know to the victim 
and, and as I said, uh, tries to frame people in conspiracies to blow things up using flamethrowers. And that's where I draw the line. Uh, that's where I drew the line this time, at least. If he should do it again, we'll get him again. We'll, he will be reported. They already have, they, they have so much on this guy, it's unbelievable. But he's now bringing his, his nastiness, trying to engage me into some kind of shit in a lawsuit that has nothing to do with me. <laughs> right? And that's where we'll dump the whole pile of shit on his head. We'll do it there and we'll do it elsewhere. We have a couple of places where the authorities are going to get to hear five hours of Dave Acton video slandering, harassing, dragging people through the mud for no reason and then turning around saying he's the victim. <laughs> so ridiculous, right? So, so, uh, so he's the dreamer, the failed actor who sues people, partners of Thomas Schoenberg, the criminal stalker, brother of jealous Jealous brother of George Webb, the frivol <laughs> frivolous litigant, the victim. All right. So you ready? Dopey Dave is Dave Acton. It, he is who he is. <laughs> right? Now think about it. Dave Acton and Thomas Schoenberg are the partners in crime are their their um, whole game is to instigate people and then turn around and play the victim right that's the game well documented they're doing it with uh, with Gabe Hoffman right now who you know big Jew money is coming down on him man that shit is going to be inescapable for these two idiots you too, Dave. You, you think you're you think you're on the road. You're trying to switch sides. I see what you're doing, but it ain't gonna work. <laughs> it ain't gonna work, jerky. All right. So, so Dave Acton. What better way to play the victim than create a hate vid hate series directed at you? <laughs> oh man, you had me for a while, man. I really, you had me. You guys had me. Dave, you had me. He's still trying. I think he's trying to say now that Dopey Dave is, is Thomas Schoenberger. It's Marcus Conti. It's all seeing you. <laughs> and other names. Other names popping up. Some names that I don't even know who they are. Everybody is Dopey Dave except Dopey Dave. Dave Swagger to Dope is Dopey Dave. Right? It makes perfect sense. He's going to continue to smear himself and try to use that smear as the victim. That's what Dave does. It's so obvious, right? That's why, Marcus Conti, you're dopey Dave. <laughs> oh, no, man. See, I watch you guys from a distance. I don't engage it because I think you're all stupid and talentless and you're not really funny. I don't see any humor in in what what that retard lepo does or the 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 obnoxious violent threatening criminal Thomas Schoenberger does or the ridiculous psychopath sociopath the cult leader the death cult leader Dave Acton does I see no value whatsoever in any of these creeps now uh, there was, once upon a time, Dave Acton may have had the right idea to stop Jason Goodman from being an idiot and, and abusing people. He may have had the right idea, but he lost his way a very long time ago. And, and is using his, his, his insanity, literally insanity, to for I don't know what purpose. Right? So, here, so that is the stage right now, LARPers. LARPers, attention, <laughs> advance. Conti, welcome to Sparta, by the way. Check back once in a while and I'll tell you what's going on in the LARP world. So <clears throat> Dave Acton is currently running a smear campaign on himself so that he could, so that he could play the victim 
and he also needs to distance himself from his partner, Thomas Schoenberger, because he knows Schoenberger is is the most despicable human being on the internet right now, and Acton partnered with him. Evidence all over the place, right? They're a gang. They hang out in the same chat room. They make the same kind of videos. They talk to each other. They back each other. One makes a video supporting the other one. This one supports that one. All the, the 20 trolls in the, in the chat room uh, uh, back both of them. If you say good thing, if you say bad things about Thomas, you get blocked. If you say bad things about Acton, you get blocked. If you say good things about, about either one, you get promoted. Right? That's Lepo's job. Right? It's a gang. It's a loose affiliation, but it's nonetheless a gang. A gang stalking, right? Because the, the, the activity itself is criminal harassment. That's the activity itself. But it's not a crime to go after the criminal. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much allowed to do what I do. Because you could bring this video and we could play it in front of judges and then I'll produce 200 videos of you harassing people. So where am I, where am I incorrect in saying it? <laughs> I mean, it's just logical, but that's, that's neither here, here nor there. So we, we shall see, Dave, what Dave, where Dave takes Dopey Dave. Sorry, man. Where does Dave, Dopey Dave take Dopey Dave? I gave him the name, right? And it makes sense, right? I gave him the name, so now he could say, See, Marcus Conti! It's Marcus Conti! <laughs> right? And that makes sense, too. Right? I, say, I call him Dopey Dave, and then he turns a dopey, makes a Dopey Dave series about, about how he's such the victim. The last one was good, going down in the ship. That was fun. Felt bad for him for a moment as he plunged into the ice water or the firing squad or getting getting his his neck his neck strung or Lepo sucking his dick on Skid Row Schoenberger the junkie going up in fire flames running from the police because that's really who these guys are <clears throat> right it's a mind fuck guys it's a mind fuck if you're following these these creeps you're, you're deep in a rabbit hole, a, a online conspiracy that could, that, that there is evidence that it leads to murder. It leads to suicide. It leads to mental breakdown. It leads to extortion of funds from people. All of those things are coming to light. Now, I'm not making it up. Again, Marcus Conti, I am, a, you, you think I'm a dick joke guy, but I work in evidence. Everything I say, everything, I have a video to prove it. How crazy is that in the, in the age of the internet? How crazy is that where people make evidence videos and then try to deny it? <laughs> in their own words. Right? You say, Conti's a bad guy, he's a criminal, and I show a video of you saying I'm a criminal. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you win that. I don't know what the, what the reasoning is it just fun? Or maybe you should just go away, Dave. Maybe you should just call it quits. Come back is with a different name. You never show your face anyway. So, you know, maybe go away. Take a break. Take a vacation. Take a long vacation like all seeing you. Just go away. Schoenberger will probably end up in jail because he's a, he's a, a heat-seeking missile. He doesn't know how to stop. All right, but you... I would, I would like to think that you're just suffering from an internet addiction and you need to break away, as you say in your video. Uh, you, need to just, you need to just stop what you're doing. You made a mistake. Right? You started as a good Samaritan and you got lost in the shuffle. Your jealousy and rage and psychosis took over and you're not able to think straight anymore. And you're about to incriminate yourself in the worst way. And and, and unfortunately, I'm in a position to, to, to drive you into the ground uh, because you keep following, you keep, you keep file, uh, filing legal papers and that's where it's not a joke anymore because you're wasting taxpayer money. You're, you're bringing 
frivolous lit, frivolous allegations, defamatory allegations into a court of law. Right? Stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing and your problems will go away. You're creating, you're, you're inflaming your, your problems, Swagger. You inflame your problems. You're not as talented as your brother. Your brother is talented. I know he fucked your wife, but that's... You got to let that go, too. I mean, George is George. George fucked your wife. He also fucked Jason Goodman, but... Hey, you know, what are you going to do? This shit happens, man. So, Merry Christmas, motherfuckers. <laughs> and to my crowd, thank you so much for participating. These are necessary videos. These have to be done to um, continue to continue to spook out the spooks continue to to drive them drive the bad guys out from hiding so when you hear that Conti is a criminal <laughs> and all the whisper campaigns know that I am on top of it have a great day Marcus Conte reporting